You are listening to Tomes of the Chaos Bard. Hello, everybody. This is Tomes of the Chaos Bard. I am d and To my left, we have... <laughs> Henley. Boudreaux. Groth and Lila. Roscoe. <laughs> I, why are you accepting that? <laughs> cut! 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 <laughs> Sounds like you're in charge. Keep going. <laughs> Today, uh, for our recap, we have Elsie. Would you like to uh, update us on what's going on? I uh, sure would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so in the last episode, Boudreaux was extremely awesome. So we like went into this room, and in this room there was a drop, and there was a walkway, a really small one. And that one lady, who's short and angry, and uh, decided to um, create... You need to clarify which angry short lady. <laughs> <laughs> I am doing a recap. (laughs) So then we walk into this room and there's this big cavern and um, there's this ledge and we're on the ledge and then there's a gap and then there's a taller place where we're trying to get to. And the short angry lady who has the crossbow and likes to shoot people um, put pythons into the wall so that we could climb up and then um, like some people went up there and then Thorin who's not Oakenshield jumped off the ledge basically he tried not to but he did and um, and then he fell into the spiders got caught and is forever in a web like Frodo and so then we were like Boudre was like oh no lower me friends and he swan dived into the cave and there was these manly people holding the rope so that they didn't fall in and neither did Boudreaux but as he lowered and the torch that Roscoe threw in diminished the glow lighted up the uh, eight eyes of the spider right in front of Boudreaux's face and Boudreaux was like oh no and he tried to shake the hand the leg of the spider and said, hello, be my friend. And he cast a beautiful spell that made them the best of friends. And they named him Leggy. He did, anyway. So they become friends. And then he's like, please go get Thorin, who you don't know who he is. And then he goes and gets a fish man who may or may not have been alive, but we will deem to never say. And so then we bring it back up to the top. And Boudreaux kicks it a couple times to make sure that nobody knows that it's alive. And then... We bring Thorin back up, befriends the spiders even more, and tell them that we're going to get food for them. They help us up to the ledge, and now that's where we're starting, is inside the cave, away from the spiders. Yeah, that was the recap. (laughs) And that's the gospel (laughs) truth. Okay, so you guys continue on. Oh, no, wait. wait. And Boudreaux kissed Lila. Okay, moving on. On on the the cheek. cheek. On the cheek. (laughs) <laughs> okay so you guys continue on you guys are starting to feel a little tired and everything and as you guys continue on you do come across this ledge so the path is still there i forgot to mention i would like to and if you want me to periodically roll or just tell me there's nothing that's totally fine with it but knowing that there are dead creatures and people stuff throughout this cave i would like to just casually looking out for like any sort of like weapons or armor that might be just kind of scattered throughout the caves okay or dead bodies or well dead i bodies. mean they would be on or with the dead <laughs> bodies or in the dead bodies on that same note he's looking for that i would be looking for to see if anyone's following us or anyone or anything looking at us if i can see any like peering eyes that as we were traveling through, you know, the different rooms and stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, who is leading this group? I'm in the back. Roscoe the has back. the map. Okay, so Ros- Roscoe would be leading. I'm probably in the middle. Okay. Boudreau is in the back. Yeah, Imagine Hurl is with me. Okay, so you keep an eye out for any loose treasures along the way. Any dead bodies. Or food of any kind. Or food of any kind. And Fenrir, you're kind of in the back as well. 
I'm guessing you're like second He's to last. The caboose. Yeah. Boudreaux's the caboose. You guys continue on. You guys begin. Uh, so you guys are heading towards a ledge. And this ledge is more of a kind of steps along the rock wall. So there's no, there's a sheer drop on one side and a path that you're kind of, kind of back against the wall walking along this ledge. As you guys are walking along that ledge, you do notice and hear noises. Everybody roll me a perception check. Am I in the back so I shouldn't? Everybody's to this point now. So oh. everybody can hear. Okay. Henley. 18. Okay. 19. Awesome. 11. 11. 14. 14. 21. 21. And I guess I got to roll for the other guys. Okay. So Thorn and Keth do not hear any of this, but everybody else does. You begin to hear kind of gargly voices. They seem a little distant. And you do hear a little bit of commotion down there. Can I be right in front of Keth and, like, hit him on, like, the chest area and just point to my ear and point yeah. out? Do you guys all freeze? So or? Mm-hmm. We're, we're on a ledge that's on a cliff, right? Mm-hmm. Where exactly, from my perspective at the front, am I hearing things? It seems to be pretty much directly below you guys. Like there might be another ledge or something yeah. below platform of some sort. But as you guys look, you guys can't see anything. It, it's pretty common. You guys don't understand or comprehend the voices, but you can definitely tell there's some communication of some creatures down below you. I'm going to keep moving forward, but quietly. Okay. I'm going to move stealthily. 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 Okay. <laughs> Roll uh, stealth checks. But I will also have let Hurla know. Thank you. Because you said she didn't. Uh, Thorn. Thorn, no. Mm. <laughs> but I think once everybody, like, stopped and listened, he, he would, would get the catch idea. on. He was just sitting there just singing his drinking song. <laughs> Listen to my echo. 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 That's very Thorn. <laughs> <laughs> That's so Thorn. <laughs> Henley. 21. Okay. 13. Awesome. 19. Awesome. 17. Good. 12. Nice. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. So you guys are all sneaking along very quietly. However, Keth stumbles a little bit. Because of his weight, he knocks a rock loose. And you just hear the rock tumble down. Everybody's full of a took. (laughs) Full of an oak. (laughs) And they go silent. And then you start hearing a lot of other that commotion again, except it's starting to be louder. Like getting closer? More of a loud voices. So Mm -hmm. they're elevating their voices. Is it interpretable? Does anybody know undercommon? Henley, you seem to know everything. <laughs> I do not know this one. <laughs> yes. You do? I do. It's a one random one. Why would I, I take know that? nothing. <laughs> what am I? Half breed m- ears, ears here. here. <laughs> <laughs> what do my mut ears here? Okay. I didn't know how to describe myself for a second. <laughs> okay, you, like before, it was a little too distant to really understand what mm-hmm. was being said, but now that you hear the loud of voices, You start hearing commotions of, it found us, it found us, we need to leave, we need to move, Um, we do not want to be eaten, we do not want, we must protect our masters. I'm just going to, like, in common, start repeating what they're saying. Okay. Uh, Like, a hushed tone. So those around you, around you, definitely hear that. Are you more in the front or the back? N- middle. Because I, I would imagine that I'm probably closer to the back, but I'm in front of Keth. Yeah, you're. You stated so. so I think. I think Keth was Roscoe in the back. and Herla may not be able to hear you. Henley would hear. Henley would probably hear. Boudreaux may probably 
won't because if you're being hushed about mm -hmm. it, and plus there's that loud noise and commotion. Right. Um, but Fenrir would be able to, eh, Fenrir, maybe a little bit here and there. You, catch part of you, it. you hear, you definitely hear Lila saying something, but not necessarily catching on. But yeah, Thorn hears, Henley hears, and Kath hears. But of course, he kind of understands mm -hmm. the common. Okay, what do you guys do with that information? I'm going to keep moving. Okay. Lila. Can you understand them? Of course I can. Can you not? No. What? I don't know every language. <sighs> okay. Okay. Here's what they're saying. They're saying... Well, you... Okay. They're saying, it found us, it found us. We got to move, basically before we get eaten. We can't find something. We can't find us. We probably should keep moving then, huh? Yeah, it's probably talking about the spiders back there. And I don't mm. really want them to eat us either, so yeah. No, let's, let's yeah, yeah, keep moving. Let's go. Okay, you guys are able to, are you guys still gonna stealth or are you guys kind of like more in a rush to move? Probably still stealthing, I would think. Okay, I'm gonna have, for those who want to stealth, have you roll another stealth. I am following whatever Fenrir is doing. Are you stealthing? I would be stealthing if they're stealthing. Okay. You can only go as fast as they can. Did you just crit? <gasps> Nutty 20! <laughs> nice. Henley. 21. Natural 20 for Boudreaux. I'm not stealthing. It has nothing to do with me. Has nothing to do with us. It's scaring whatever it is down their way. Okay. I got a twenty-one. Okay. <laughs> Ten. Okay. Everybody is able to stealth along. Okay, you guys get to Every another. Every day I'm stealthing. <laughs> <laughs> Be able to get to an opening, and this opening kind of takes you around and down, and you do start hearing more of those noises, more of those that commotion coming dead ahead of you. You see in front of these tunnels, kind of darting right past you, you see some of those fish creatures dart. And then you see kind of a bunch of these mushroom people <laughs> dart as well. And then followed by some more um, fish people. But the fish people that you see in the back, they seem to be lumbering a little differently. These ones are slower, and they seem to have growths on them. Yeah. Some kind of mushroom spores and growths coming out of them as they lumber along. Let's feed them to the spiders. <laughs> <laughs> are you guys still moving, or once you see them, you stop? Uh, I will have stopped for a minute, because, I mean, so where we're... That's in front of us, right? Correct. Is there like a cross hallway that we're seeing them run yes. back and forth? Is there another direction besides back for us to go, or do we have to go either across or right or left through that intersection? Yes. Okay. So, so yeah, I, you could go backwards, or there's a T we're, up We're front, at a four-way stop. And you see them running from the right to the left. Boudreaux whispers to Fenrir. Those ones look sickly, yeah? Yeah, they do. We should give them to the spiders. You don't think they mind, yeah? I mean, they had one before, so... But it looks like there's a lot more of them than us. Snacked one. <laughs> Can I hear this? How? <laughs> no, rope? they're way in the back. Okay. You're, you're more in the middle. I mean, drop Pass the, the word along. Telephone. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play telephone. Let's go. <laughs> Who's in front of me? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll say Thorns in front of you. Okay. Oh my gosh, but he's just gonna yell it. <laughs> Actually, so my ring, right? Okay. I don't have message activated. No. But I do have a gem or two gems that we got back in the cave. Right. Right? Yes. So I'm gonna take those two gems that I got, and I'm gonna push it, play it on top of the ring. 
Okay. And I want to see if my level light, if I get like Ooh, another level light, do, 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 do. like they have mm-hmm. on the ring. So I'm going to put two gems on there and then wait and see what happens. Okay. It changes color, and I believe it was blue. Yeah, sure. I think. Does he get any change back? No. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> okay. So from there, I'm going to message Roscoe. Oh, I was going to say Henley goes, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Who's in my head? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and be like, should we feed these guys to the spiders? Who's this? <laughs> New, New ring, phone, who's this? Is. <laughs> Remember, you have to go, ring, ring. ring. <laughs> um, I'm, maybe? I'd like to see if we can get out of it alive before we decide what we're feeding them. <laughs> okay, and I will turn to Boudreaux and be like, we're going to wait for a minute and see what happens. What do if you we, mean? If we have to fight them, we'll beat them and then feed them to the spiders. You didn't tell anyone. I messaged Roscoe. How? With my ring that we got from Swindell. When? Like two seconds ago. What the flip? You know the ring that you just put in your backpack and didn't do anything with? Yeah. Yeah, that one. Oh, nice. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. We gotta feed the spiders before they come to us, though. I don't think... I don't think we're gonna get back to feed the spiders, Boudreaux. Well, they're going to go find us. Well, you know what? I think I want to go to the front. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon me. Yeah. <laughs> That's but, exactly what he yeah. does. But, but, but. but. Can't what? Can't what? Let you pass, what? Bro. If they come and try to capture us, we'll fight them. Okay, I'm going to the front. Thank you. Scoot me. Scoot me. Sorry, kid. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you are a boy. Hello, my love. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> hey. What's happening with LPM? Hmm? Okay. So it takes a minute for the, the sickly looking ones that have the growths on them to pass by. Unfortunately, the map is telling you to go to the same direction they are. Great. I will. Uh, Boudreaux pokes up in between your arms. Spread what the word to the three people who I can now message. <laughs> you really bend down. Okay. Or spread it. That way it's kind of spread throughout the line. Because, Henley, you're kind of in the middle, right? Mm-hmm. And and you're now at the back. I'm now at the back. <laughs> and you can just hear Boudreaux. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. Did you? <laughs> like he's going to shut him up. <laughs> <laughs> Henley, uh, he's passing you. <laughs> I just put my hand over his mouth. Shh. Quiet. Quiet. (laughs) And he looks at you with wide eyes and like, okay. (laughs) (laughs) And and then he's like, motions to like wiggle through and he's like, excuse me. But he's like not saying anything. He's just just big (laughs) wow. The mouthing. Excuse me. (laughs) (laughs) Henley will step aside. (laughs) Okay, you continue on forward. Roscoe. Uh, I'm going to pull out my glaive um, and head around the corner. Okay. I'm going to tell Herla to, you know, be be ready as well. Just don't shoot me. As soon as she saw the creatures passing, you turn around, hey, be ready, and she already has her two crossbows out. (laughs) <laughs> Don't shoot me. <laughs> Aha. That's what okay. she planned the whole time. How much distance you want to give? You can see up to 60 feet, but do you want to, how long do you want to wait? Do you want to kind of follow them but close? Um, closely? I would stay about halfsies, so 30 to 40 feet back. Okay. So you guys continue forward. And I will have Fenrir keep a good eye on... The back side. Okay. How far forward is Boudreaux going? What happens when I get to Lila? I don't know. You passed me. Okay, then I'm up by Roscoe. Because it, Lila was down. By Keth. Yeah. Oh, so then I passed you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I want to go all the way to Roscoe. Okay. You feel like her <laughs> like makes a comment, hey! And you look behind you and there's Boudreaux. Shh! And then he gives the same big eyes, but with no words. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll have you guys roll some more stealth checks. Is mine the same? Are you stealthing? I didn't stealth last time because I wasn't worried about it. And I, so I probably wouldn't worry about it this time. But you know what's going on. I know it's, I know they're scared and they're running away, but I'm the only one that understands. Okay. And that they're just trying to flee for their life. And yeah. I have nothing to... And it's one of those things of like, if the first person's stealthing, she's walking slow. Yeah. But she may not be paying attention mm. to where she steps. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Henley. Eleven. Okay. Five. <laughs> oh, jeez, okay. Makes sense. Twelve. 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 Freaking Bujo messed us all up, yo. He's <laughs> not the only one. <laughs> oh, no. Thorin. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you think he's been down in these caves long enough? He would be the one that's like, oh, no, no, no. Shh, guys. Shh, 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 shh. He, he's not much Look at either. the fish people in their natural habitat. <laughs> <laughs> to the left we have. He should be the Steve <laughs> Irwin of this underground. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Look at the size of that thing. Oh, maybe that's why. He's like, Crikey, mate, look at the size of that thing. I'm sorry to all of our Aussie friends out there. That was horrible. <laughs> He's... So, Boudreaux, why is such a low row? Well, I think it's from me, like, crawling all the way through. Okay, so yeah. the, just the commotion you made. Yeah, is that, that okay? Yeah, that, that works. Okay. And uh, Thorin, also seeing Boudreaux go forward. Well, I don't want to miss anything. <laughs> so he starts moving <laughs> forward as well. And he gets up to Bujo. He's like, what are we looking at? Oh, and he, he's talking a little bit more loud like he probably mm -hmm. shouldn't be. He's like, I don't know, but they said we ain't going to feed the bodies to the spiders, so I'm coming up here, you know? <laughs> and by the way, Bujo thinks he's being quiet. He's not trying to be loud. Do, we, do I still hear anything from them? From the, these two? Oh, no, yeah. the other, the oh. fish mushroom people. You do see here continuing echoings, but it seems like from the group farther down, it doesn't sound like the the sickly ones mm -hmm. are making any noise. Okay. Besides kind of grunts or little unintelligible noises. Okay. However, with the noises that Boudreau and, and Thorin are saying... You see kind of the two behind um, sickly ones kind of turn around, and they're kind of jerky as they turn around. And you hear... See, if they're jerky, they're perfect meat for the spiders. Ha ha, you're so <laughs> funny. <laughs> I'm sorry, keep going. Fish flavored. <laughs> yeah, gross. <laughs> and they just turn around, and then you hear them do a loud grunt of some kind and they stop and just stand with their weapons pointed at you and begin to slowly move towards you guys. Boudreaux puts his hands up and smiles. Ha! <laughs> Roscoe? How many we got? There's two of them at this moment. Okay. How far away? So you were following about 30 feet, so, so they're the, uh, 30 25, feet. 30 feet. Yeah. I'm going to tell them to stop. Stop. Halt. Freeze. No movie. Them or us? Yes. Are they about how far away? 30, 30 feet. feet. We well, because you're right behind them, so yeah, they're more like 35 feet. But they seem to be shambling towards you guys. And you do see farther down some uh, little more commo commotion. As well, not can't quite tell what's going like on yet. Behind them, yes, behind okay. them. Uh, roll me a pers an insight check for me, and you oh. can continue what you're doing, Boudreaux. Whatever. Just I, I was thinking of maybe casting a spell. Oh, okay. Your last spell slot, just him. I can't. Whoever hurt. wants to roll it, uh, as of right now, the only ones who could roll an insight check would be Roscoe, Thorin, and Boudreaux. Boudreaux. Okay. What about Hurdle? Or is she too far back now? I, she's now fourth in line. Okay. Suck. <laughs> oh, what did you roll, Roscoe? I rolled a one. You critical <laughs> fail? Twice? I have luck! <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank Thanks, you. Abby. <laughs> How dare you be a halfling and not <laughs> remember? Well, that is much better. Um, <laughs> that is an 18. Okay. You notice that these, the movements of these is more of protection rather than aggression, if that makes sense. Uh, I, I'm going to then... I want to mimic, basically, and and not go from, you know, offense, but go kind of more defense, like, I'm not going to hurt you, you don't hurt me, sort of stance. Okay. Which was Boudreaux's original position. But he points his finger. Okay. And casts his spell at them. No, okay. don't. What, what? what is it? <sighs> Suck, man. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> What's what spell? spell? <laughs> it's um we've done it before. It's Toll of the Dead, which oh. for us is the sound of cicadas. I think. Wait, they, no, I, for you, no, it's just Dolores Bells, isn't it? But you no, you it was the Gator Growl. I thought it was the Gator Growl. Oh yeah, that's what it was. The yeah. hissing. The gators. hissing of the Gator Growls. But only in their heads. And who are you cast casting it on? The mushroom people. The mushroom people the, or the, the fish mushy people mushy fishies? On them. The sickly fishies. Yes. Okay, so remind me what it does to them. You point at one creature. Yeah, so I do point. Um, you see within range, which is 60 feet, and the sound of Deloria's bells fills the air around it for a moment. The target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or take 1d8 necrotic damage. If the target is missing any of its hit points, it takes 1d12 necrotic damage. Okay. Roll your damage. Sweet. They have to roll really high. Yeah, they fail. Okay, so it takes three damage. Okay. Okay, you see one of them kind of flinch a little bit, and their mood turns into more of an aggressive mood. Okay, but nobody noticed I did that. What, does it take verbal, or is it just hand gestures? (laughs) <laughs> it's verbal and somatic. Okay, then so, somebody probably would hurt you. May not know what you did, uh-huh. but they heard something. Okay, cool, happen. cool, cool. That's fine. Okay. What is going on up there? Why did we stop? Uh, send the message through the mental line. Okay. To spread the word that we're probably going to be getting into a fight. Okay. And we're going into a battle, Lila. I don't know. Oh and it is your boyfriend. <laughs> I love that I'm the only one that doesn't have this mental link. And Lila doesn't either. No, I don't oh, either. You don't? Okay. It's just the three. I thought you were talking through the rings. No, no, she's told me. I mm-hmm. talk through it. the rings. Okay, either to way, those I'm still two. the only one missing the content. <laughs> well, and Thorin wouldn't have heard that. Hurla wouldn't have heard that. Heard that or Kath, but. Yeah. So Kath is, two, Kath is near me. me. Right. You would have right, filled yeah. everybody else in the round. Yeah, between the three of us, the message is now through the line. Yeah. <laughs> They're the, the, literally before they were just running away to try and save themselves. Why are we fighting? What is going on? Okay. So these creatures are now within 10 feet. And you see clearly, Roscoe and Boudreau, you see clearly that there is this mushroom person approaching right behind these these two. And you begin to smell something. Nice. As it's walking, you see kind of a mist coming off of it. Oh, yeah. And it's coming your direction. What would you like to do about that? So they're ten feet. The fish people are ten so feet. Are you by her or are you by me? I'm in front of Keth. And I'm... And you're probably behind Can Keth. we establish this line order real quick? You sure can. Again. Okay, so it goes me... And then Boudreaux. Thorin. 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 Hurla. Hurla. Henley, Henley. probably there. Keth. Lila. Keth. Keth. You. Fenrir. Okay. And the cave entrance is, we can only be in a single line, or can I, like, break rank? If you had the help of other people to, like, move to the side, you can. Like... Boudreaux was able to move in front because people were able to kind of squish against the side. But in some kind of aggression type idea, unless the person moves aside from you, you can't get past them. So we're like on a bridge. Not, we're just bottled in. You guys are now off that ledge, and so now you're in a tunnel. But it's a tight tunnel. 
Oh, I gotcha. A ton. Actually, probably to get past Keth, he really literally has to get pin himself against the wall, so it'd be very difficult to get past Keth. Okay. So I will. He's pretty much crouching down. He's almost on his knees at this point, trying to crawl through. Poor guy. Yeah. Okay. So Fenrir and Henley are also crouched a bit. Just a bit, yeah. Not super much, but. Because we're five ten, both yeah. of us are. Welcome to Tomes of the Chaos Bard Mid-Show Break. I am your host, Rupert Bumpkin, from the Rocky Talkie Gnome Radio Network. First item of business is the five-star reviews. Remember that Solom will give you a shout-out and read your review on Solom's column. Then he will review your review. It's great fun! Second is the Ko-Fi. This is our Patreon merchandise store. You can purchase keychains, coloring pages, and MP3s of our song. You can also commission to feed the cast, or write a letter to Dear Boudreaux. If you are interested in becoming a patron, there are three tiers, each with varying rewards, including a full post show, DM Dave's deep dives, and coloring activity book with exclusive art. Go to ko-fi.com slash tomes of the chaos bard. That is ko-fi, K-O-F-I dot com forward slash tomes of the chaos bard and help us grow. And last but not least, the biggest way you can help us is share us with your friends and family. That is all, folks. Back to the show. Because we're 5'10", both of us are. Yeah. Henley, can you well, see what's going on up there? Uh, sort of? Um, there's two... You are taller than everybody in front, so you oh, can see this. Oh, yes, yeah. I can. That's true. <laughs> I forget that all the shorties are up front. <laughs> Except... That's why I asked. <laughs> <laughs> yep, good. Um, yeah, we're being approached by two fish people with mushrooms and um they're looking very aggressive and there's this weird mist funk coming off of them so once the fish the mushy fish the mushy fish gotcha the mish <laughs> the mish get with kind of like within five feet of you they just stop and this mist just goes over you how far back? It would go, let's see, it would hit Roscoe, it would hit Boudreaux, hit Thorin, and then, who's the fourth one? Herla. 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 That's where it would stop. Okay, a Henley's going to shoot. Do yeah. I see that Henley's, like, loading? You're behind, Keth? She's I, behind I'm me. behind Henley. Okay, yes, you I'm see I'm going to tell her not to. And shooting. And for those who are hit by the mist... You hear a voice in your head. You are not our pursuer. Who are you? I don't hear it though. No, only everyone Roscoe, in front of me. Boudreaux, oh, yeah, yeah, no, Thorin, I just wanted to make sure Henry, that it wasn't like Herla. She's she can see everything, right? She can see everything. You don't know she's getting ready. I don't know she's can. Okay, but I'm going to lower my glaive a little bit. Okay. I'm still going to have Henley take a shot. That's fine. I'm just Mm -hmm. lowering. So, I'm assuming the mushroom stuff is poisonous. Who who wouldn't? It's a good assumption. You're trying to stop her, right? No, I'm just yelling, don't shoot, don't shoot. Why I don't I... know what it is, but I also know that they were just, they sounded right. scared. They're they... covered in poison. Well, they're probably just trying to protect themselves. I'm going to say we're, mean you no harm. We're just on our way to another part of the cave. From where did you... And everybody's able to hear Roscoe. You're speaking in a louder voice. Yes. So you hear Roscoe talking to this thing, but you never heard anything talk back. What is going on? <laughs> and I'm not going to reply because I'm conversing with... Thing okay, I'm, too many... I'm thinking maybe he's possessed yeah, and right. I'm just going to shoot. <laughs> okay, Boudreaux, you hear this as well. I'm going to just keep talking. Go ahead and roll your attack. Where I don't think I noticed. did you come from? That's an 18. We came from the entrance back that way by the miners. 
We're trying to get to the other side of the cave where there's some bad people who are... Roll your damage, Henley. ...destroying our town that we're trying to stop. I mean you no harm. And at that point, I'm actually going to set my glaive down. <laughs> okay. And it's almost like as you set your glaive down... It's like you bend down and set your glaive. Flies. That's 11 piercing damage. Okay. Wait, and they're within 30 feet of me, so that's actually all force damage... The the toad the not the toad <laughs> the fish mushroom person is within thirty feet. Okay, because you guys are kind of within that five foot space of each other. Henley, what's your range on that? Does that, does that put you too close, or is it further out? They have to be at that? least ten feet away. If, the, if that's what you're asking, for it's within five feet. For disadvantage, for, Sorry. yeah, five feet, yeah. That's nineteen damage. Woo. Okay, and, and it's force damage. You started a war. Okay. I'm literally going to say that. You see the the uh, fish person kind of stumble back as it gets hit. And it just can't quite get its head down to look at the arrow. But you see it, hear it make some kind of noise and gets ready to attack, but it pauses. But it's like, it's, it's weaponed is like right against you. Boudreaux, do you do anything with that? Well, I heard the voice too, right? You did hear the voice, yes. So then I go, Henley, we are talking to someone. <laughs> to if what? You mean and I'm going to no yell, stop. Harm? Why do you attack? She didn't hear a voice. Nope. She doesn't understand what's happening. And I'm going to stop right there and I'm going to turn around and be like, lower your weapons. We tell them to stop right now. Sorry. There. <sighs> Henley, like. <laughs> and then Boudreaux looks at you with the big eyes and goes, puts his fingers to his, lip, his lips and goes, shh. <laughs> you come from above. Yes. And you seek passage. Yes. With no harm. We seek passage as well. Where are you passaging to? We have been separated from our kind. A troll has desecrated and mutilated many of us and stands between us and our sovereign. Where is that? Can uh, anyone please explain what is going on? I'm going to pull out my map. Okay. As well. And, and just be like, where? And see if it's like something that's kind of, if they could point to like, if it's, in line, so I can see if it's kind of in line with where we're going or if it's super far out of the way or kind of, you know, trying to communicate and get an idea. It looks at the map and it just shakes its head. I do not understand. But I may show you. For there are many tunnels here. Do you hear anything, Henley? If you no. continue forward, the direction we are headed, and head right, that is where our sovereign is. So where are the trolls? So looking at the map, mm-hmm. what I see in direction to where we're going, off direction, way out of the way, kind of trying to compare it to what what he's saying. Okay. So if you were to click on the tunnel that he told you to go, it is a slower route. Um, No, sorry. It is a quicker route, but there, you know, it says, like, heavy traffic. (laughs) You know? (laughs) It's it's kind of like a, a red line. 
that means that it's like more dangerous or something. So it's taking you more of the safer route, where this one's a dangerous route. Like obstacles ahead. Mm -hmm. Does it say what? Like troll. Is ahead. is the troll only thing up there a troll? The troll is the only one. Hold that thought. You okay I if I talk to my team real quick? Hold thoughts. What if we help you with the troll? <laughs> Who drew laughs? <laughs> If you help us with the troll, because it would also benefit us. My kind, the last of us here, and our warriors, the Korta, we cannot face it. If we deal with the troll, will you give us safe passage through your area? Yes. And we have also many items that the ones above left. Sign me up. So I'm going to turn this like, let me. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Henley has lowered her bow, but it is still an arrow knocked. Okay. It was like two shakes. Let me talk to my team. Shakes. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to turn around. It also goes up and, like, pulls the arrow out of the, the mushroom fish. Okay, so I'm going to turn around and both through verbal and, you know, mental capacities because I don't know who can actually hear me. I'm going to basically explain the situation. Hey, guys, we're going to go take care of a troll because that's who these guys are running from, and they're the last of their people outside of their town that the troll is keeping them away from. Also, if we get rid of the troll, they have many... Uh, Above ground weapons, pe things that might be beneficial for us, and it's a shorter path, and they'll guarantee us safety through their land. You want us to take on a troll? I, I mean, why not? Are you stupid? Well, I don't know, Henley. Did you just shoot something? Ooh. Yes. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Do they look fine? Do they look fine? Have you ever faced a troll? No. Me I'm asking, neither. I'm asking if the ones in front of us look like they're poisoned. Um, side note, time out. It's the only thing between us and through that dangerous part. I can't see. And it looks like it's going to be a quicker path if it's we go that way. It's a quicker path to what we need to, and there's only the one troll. I think with eight of us, as long as Thorin... Can get his act together. Oh, crikey, look at this mite! No, I'm just gonna. <laughs> I bet I we, could, we could handle it. How bad is Troll? And what is it? I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna turn back to the guy. How big is the Troll? The Troll is a large creature. Henley, I need you Elf. to tell me if they look like they're possessed or normal capacity. I can't see. Past you and your tallness. Do you have comfortable beds we could sleep on once the troll is taken care of? <laughs> but the spiders might come in here pretty soonish. So yes, we have lost. I have no idea. They're just talking. <sighs> we have lost many of our warriors to the spiders. As they have fallen. Yeah. But if you can get back to your area, you would be safe, right? Do we With shoot them? With our sovereign, yes. Okay, so. But we're not Hold safe on. until we get a troll. The right. troll has manipulated, mutated. Trolls are very manipulative, mutated mutative creatures. They adapt to their environment and since they have eaten many of my kind it has gained other abilities. What sort of well, abilities? It has become poisoned and infected and now leaks it nasty 
So we'll want to stay back a little bit. Sounds kind of cool, though. <laughs> yeah. This is something that we are not familiar with. It is something that must be learned about. Mushroom man, Toad, give me a second. <laughs> um, then I'm going to turn back around and I'll be like, part of our job is to help those that need help, right? And it's in our direction. And they've got soft beds. How long is it going to take to kill this troll? It probably would still save us time than taking the safer route. This is the shortest route to where we need to get. And if our biggest threat that we're aware of is a troll, and then they will help us give us safe passage through their sovereign, at least we know for a little bit after the troll we've got some safe passage. And it's helping them at the same time. You know, we could make it a three-way help and lead the troll to the spiders. I love the enthusiasm. Yeah, I know. I don't, I don't think, think the it'll troll work. could fit through that hole. So we bring the spiders in. Or, or pieces of the said troll back to the spiders and not kill these lovely Ooh, people. let's do it, guys. It's, let's do it. Or whatever. I don't let's know. Let's worry about I the troll can't. right now. Wait, wait, wait you want to bring the spiders to help us with the troll? <laughs> yeah. That sounds like a horrible idea. It's so yeah, crazy, not... it just might work. <laughs> yeah! And they're hungry, and <laughs> it's I... perfect, and then we save their life, and or... we do everything. I, and we don't, I do don't think spiders. your leggy will fit through. Not leggy, but his children. But I'm going to... I'm. No, no spiders. I'm going to make an executive decision on this decision and say... No, 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 say... you don't want to. This is a good idea. This is a horrible idea. It's a great idea in theory. It's not going to execute well. Okay, I'll go back. No. And I'll talk to him. No. And he starts squinting. No, you're not. And I'm I'm going to be like, Henley, do not let her pass you. Him. 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 Do not let him pass you. We just let the fish people do whatever they want to the troll body and feed it to the spiders and call it good. Because then they won't be hurt. The spiders will be happy. Everybody, it's a win, 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 win. We'll bring the troll back to the spiders. I Only if right. we can kill the troll or we are all dead, dead, dead. Which is why we bring the spiders in. Hey, hey, mushroom guy. Yes? What? I just befriended the spiders back there. Can we let the spiders in to kill the troll? No. Shh. The spiders have taken many of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they you big food versus you little food. Beasts prefer the easiest prey. Yeah, yeah. Boudreau, can we not do anything with spiders? I right am now? talking, excuse I, me. Uh, uh, yeah. No. Yeah. It <laughs> will go after what it thinks it could eat or eat. Spiders are fine where they're at for now. Okay, but only because I like this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he winks at Fenrir. You like... Are they talking to you? Uh, can we scoot closer to them? The mushroom people? Not and, like, really, because I've got a knife to my neck right now. Yeah, the the one mushroom uh, fish person has, it hasn't released its pokey stick. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to go back to Mushroom Man and say if we help with the troll we can pass. Deal? That is correct. Okay. Unite us with our sovereign so we may return our dead to the mound. Okay. We're going to go Beat up a troll, guys. Get ready. Mm. And you see the mushroom person look at the, th- the threatening fish person, and it just lifts up his, his staff or his stick. Hmm. And the mushroom person, follow me. I will. But pick up for my real, the spiders can't come back where we're going, right? No. No. No, no. Mu- yeah. Mushroom? No. 
No. No. Okay, good. Thank you. He follows. Okay. You see uh, Hurla. She kind of mumbles under, under her breath. I don't like this idea. See? I, I agree with her. I don't like this idea. Okay, but I like the idea of, a, of going up against a troll rather than going back there to the spiders. So let's, let's just take the better of two evils at this point and <laughs> keep going. Let's go. Let's go. I say we go the long way around. Well, but yeah, we but they're not going to. The so let's go. And other people's lives are on the line if but, we don't get there fast enough. I'm sure you're having this conversation as you guys are walking. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Didn't the map say that the long way around was safer? Or Mel- That's Menonor? That's what I said, and since then we've ran into uh, multiple um, cliffs that we've almost died on and a billion spiders that luckily Boudreaux saved our lives on. And I got you. <laughs> safer at this point, I think, is relative, and we're running out of time. Okay, I'll follow you. Hurla, do you think we can beat a troll? With Keth and all of us? Well, if what this mushroom head says about this troll, it might be a little tough. Trolls are pretty difficult. What did a mushroom head say about the troll? Yeah. Oh, Is it not a normal troll? It's adapted a little bit. What? Did you it, not can hear? you exp- No. Um, we didn't hear any of that. It kind of oozes stuff. Poison. Poison. Oh. But don't worry. It's okay because I'm resistant to poison. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> well, but you've I can got help the arrows. You. But yeah. I will need to sleep first because I'm tired. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll ask the mushroom guys. Is there somewhere we can rest for a night before we take on this troll? Um, we may rest with the rest of my kind. They continued to flee, thinking that you may have been the troll or spiders nah. or other dangerous creatures here. Mm, we're not dangerous. We're pretty dangerous. I'm I mean, not to me. you. We'll be dangerous to the troll, but not to you. <laughs> not your shirt and everything. <laughs> yeah. <at me. laughs> He's like around. bubble in his pecs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he is shirtless. I forget the Boudreau. shirtless Boudreau. Shirtless, but he still has his gator on. Yes. Uh, new plushie coming to you, shirtless Boudreau. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> we will accept fan art. <laughs> <laughs> Did you want to ask another question? What, what did he enemy? say? Roscoe, Boudreaux, Perla. That he The troll has been eating the fish people, and so it's mutated and adapted a little bit. And we're going to go to bed with the fish people. You What? We're going to go sleep with the fishes? Yeah. <laughs> Not yeah. that type of sleep with the <laughs> fishes. Oh. It's okay, Thorn. But I thought... This is Thorn speaking. No, Thorn, Thorn can understand it. He heard him. Yeah, he yeah. heard. He heard. Okay. He's just like, but... I thought they were eating the mushroom people. I guess he would be eating the fishes, too. And there's mushroom fish people. Yeah, what's up with that? I don't know, but it's kind of gross, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's gross. But they said that they had to take care of their dead? We don't judge down here. I didn't see them take carrying any dead. I know, and they should give their dead to the spiders. Keep the spiders at bay. And How would we... I don't like this plan. Not yeah. one bit. Can we avoid fighting a troll? I'm pretty excited to fight a troll. It's been a while. Wait, you fought a troll before? You I almost have. died. Do you think we can beat it? Well, I think with all of us here, we've been able to survive some rock climbing and some other things, and you guys have had some adventures, right? You want us to sleep with the fish people? Oh my gosh. Uh, Can we just move on, please? Please, please. Can we just get out of here? Elsie. Buddha would like to roll a perception about if he is just excited about the trolls. Because he's com- like, if he's just like not showing how hard it was. Do you kind of understand what I'm saying? Like, if is he excited to fight a troll or excited or 
Hmm. If he's like, like holding, if you could like see in his eyes that even if his words are actually happy, but he's like, last time I almost died, kind of like, nope, seems too complicated. Shouldn't Roll an insight check. Yeah, that's what I meant, an insight check. Yeah. 16 plus. Yeah, that's... Okay. <laughs> you do get a sense of excitement from him. Because mm-hmm. I'm sure as you guys have been traveling and stuff like that, he's ex- expressed like, you know, I love, I like being in, doing the mining thing, but I do miss being out on adventure. Mm-hmm. So you do, and he's told you a little bit that he's uh, done some adventures with Jakaris and some stories about that. Um, so he is, you can tell that there's an excitement to it. To finally get, kind of get his hands dirty. Again. Yeah. So he's more excited than he should be. Kind Probably a vibe. little bit. Like this whole time he's been overly excited about things. Like even mm-hmm. falling yeah. to his death, captured by spiders. <laughs> yeah. Like he was just like, man, that was fun. Like <laughs> that's going to be another story that we tell in the tavern. You know, yeah. kind of, that yeah. kind of so, laughing about those silly mistakes and and that kind of stuff, yeah. I kind of squint at him a little bit, though, and I'm starting to get a little wary now, too. I'm like, ah. But well, if it's a different kind of troll, I knew that they could mutate, but to mutate to a point where they ooze some kind of grossness? I mean, that sounds pretty exciting. Maybe the I mean, I do flammable. like poison. Yeah. Yes. Is it almost obvious at this point that he's, like, overly excited? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, then I when we get to like a point where we can uh, spread out a little bit, I want to mm-hmm. go back by Fenny. Okay, yeah. So the mushroom person takes you. It's a slow pace. I think it's like fifteen to twenty feet. You know, very slow. Roscoe, this is kind of a nice little walk, except for the bigger people, it's more of a kind of a shuffle, a little bit. Step. Wait. Wait, 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 <laughs> step, wait, wait, wait. Where, where Ross was like, do, 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 you know, just a casual stroll. It's a nice pace for him. Just pick up the mushroom people and walk. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. It's more of the uh, the mushroom fish that are that are slowing the you. The mushroom fish, yeah. Um, will you let me know when I can be back for him? Yeah. So are you kind of stepping to the side and just yeah. slowly? Yeah, so I imagine like things kind of like... When we get to a point where something opens up a little bit taller, where Kath mm-hmm. doesn't have to like be on all fours, basically, I'm yeah. gonna try and let him just go in front okay. of me. Yeah, for... you're you're able to get back there. Okay. Did you want to have a conversation with him? Mm-hmm. Or... Okay, go ahead. So, uh, Fenrir. Yes. What do you think of Thorin? I mean, it seems like he could. Do well in battle. I'm, I'm not so sure about taking on a troll, though. I'm, I mean, we do outnumber it, so that does give us an advantage, but I'm just thinking of what Keth did at the beginning of the cave, and I think the troll could probably do that to us. And if he exudes poison? Do, do you but, feel like he's overly excited? Like overly excited like another fighter that we were with once upon a time say back in a town somewhere that I don't know died with us Lionel I mean you might or might not have wrote, written yeah, something about I mean yeah I mean we we, we beat that guy though uh, like yeah, yeah, we beat if him, but dude, we're trying to take the quickest route possible, and you know, if we have a chance, I, I don't know, maybe we take it, but I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty tired. It, yeah, me too. I mean, I, I'm all let's, the. Help. Let's get some rest, and maybe, maybe in the morning we, once we have clearer heads, if we decide to continue, we continue. If not, then we take the easier route. I'm all about helping people. I'm all about helping these people because they seem scared. However, I don't want another unneeded death because somebody's overly excited to fight something. Don't get me wrong. Warriors should be excited, but they should also be smart. And I'm now teetering on the side of almost insanity with him with this. 
I mean, he's excited about goo. That could be poisonous. And dying almost by a spider that he was wrapped up in. I mean, right. I mean, do you think Boudreaux has any way we can resist the poison? Um, I mean, maybe, maybe not. I, I mean, he's. You could ask him. Does we he have like him. potions or anything that? We are currently talking, me and uh, Thorin, about goop and how I like to play in and make it, and <laughs> how I've drinking poison several times, and I love to use a certain spell to make it go away <laughs> after I throw up. <laughs> Would you say that you have uh, become immune to eye cane powder? Uh, 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 inconceivable. <laughs> I don't. I. I think we should just be cautious. That's all. I don't. Like I said, I don't want another unneeded death. Not that he has the spouse here to have to worry about telling, but who knows? Let's sleep. You're right. Let's sleep on it. You guys are able to catch up. Like this is it. You guys are starting to get tired. You guys can start feeling it in your legs like it's time, but he keeps encouraging you on, and eventually you do find the rest of the group in this more opened tavern. You do see that there's many of these mushroom kind. They have the different different kinds of mushrooms growing on them. They're different um, sizes, shapes. There's some smaller ones. There's some bigger ones. Um, you see many of these fish people around. There's probably about six of them and probably about four of these mushroom fish people around. They definitely act different than each other. So the normal fish people act different than the mushroom fish people. Um, the mushroom fish people seem to be being directed by the mushroom people where the fish mushroom people are directed by the mushroom people and then other fish people are kind of just um, keeping watch and everything. The one that's been talking to you... Me? Uh, to Over. everybody. Oh, okay. <clears throat> comes up to you and you do see the same similar uh, dust and spores come and encompass everyone at this time. You have asked for rest. Holy, wh- who is that? <laughs> oh my heavens, is this what you guys have been hearing? His voice is kind of cool, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Plugs are la, 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 la. <laughs> You may rest here for the, for rest. <laughs> I was going to say for the night, but really don't know the night for the sleep (laughs) for we know that your kind must regain its energy through sleep but I know that your kind looking at Fenrir just needs a little while of meditation Fenrir will nod is there anything that you ask of us before you rest. Any questions? You got healing potion? We have no need of such things. You probably do. <laughs> what do you they know would about? have no effect on us. Oh, oh, but sorry, sorry, sorry. What do you know about trolls? Trolls are very adaptive to their environment. They are able to absorb and mutate in many different ways. They also regenerate if their limbs are cut off. They can grow new ones over time. And there have been cases of limbs regenerating 
and having a mind of their own. Dude, Binky's tail came off once. <laughs> oh, sorry. So, but so, it, it was kind of similar. What is a Binky? He's my friend. How, how, how do you know how to kill a troll or how they die if limbs can regenerate on their own and have a mind of their own? Henley then like points at Lila because that was her question. <laughs> <laughs> that. I'm just going to be like, I got you, girl. <laughs> there have been discussions about how fire seems to help in stopping the healing or regenerative properties of a troll. However, only for a short time. Do they adapt to fire? Or just that it just slows things down? Far as I know, only slows it down. However, trolls are highly adaptive. So one who has seen many flames in its time could possibly gain an immunity. Okay, so fire slows it down, but how do we kill it? Do you know? Has, has there been any discussion about that? Is it a beheading? Is it you have to burn the parts afterwards? Is it throw it down to feed a spider to it? Is it... Or like a sp feed it to a spider, sorry. Is <laughs> it... I don't... If we're going to help you with this, I want to make sure that it's dead, dead. It's A, not going to come after us. B, not going to adapt to something. And C, that those separate limbs aren't going to be able to, like, I don't know, create another troll. And we have a whole army of trolls to worry about. If you take it in a great battle and destroy its body it will die there are many ways to destroy a body there is burning there is burying there is chopping up into small bits there is feeding it to other Creatures. Mm, feeding there it to other creatures. That's what I say. Boiling in hot, hot liquids. There is. Okay, we get it. We want to make it dead, dead, not mostly dead. <laughs> 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 they do regenerate if you are not careful. So make sure. That the killing blow is a sure one. Right. Thank you. So you said that this troll mutates. And it mutates based off of what it has eaten. The and its environment, yes. So the environment down here, you said it's terrorized you... Correct. So would it be safe to say that it would have the same weaknesses as what you have? That is unknown to me. Okay. It well, is something that we do desire of you. For when you do bring down this troll, we do wish to learn from its corpse. So what hurts you? We can be hurt the same as you with sharp stones, metal. Anything that hurts you can hurt us. But do you have a weakness? Something you hate to get hit by more than others? It all hurts the same. 
Okay, you said it had special abilities, though, that it probably gained from eating a, the lot here. Correct? That it Correct. oozes now. Do you know about what that is or what it could be based off of the special abilities of those people here? This mutation of the troll is new to our knowledge. This is why we wish to learn from its corpse. However, the occasions we have fought, excuse me, our warriors have fought against this troll. Every time it was hit, a splash of liquid would go on the warriors and inflict them in pain. Nasty. Your, your warriors, those are the... The Kotoa? Yes. Those, those are the ones standing guard? Yes. My kind do not fight. And the Kotoa have attached themselves to us. They think of us as some kind of higher being. Therefore, they risk their lives and health in protecting us, our sovereign, and our mound. Uh, so, so you is in the mushroom beings we see here, or the fish, or both? The myconids is what my people are called. I'm sorry, the myconids. What what do you look like more than the others? I'm unfamiliar with your kind. Any kind of gestures to the other mushroom people? We come in many different sizes, shapes, and kinds. Your different kinds, do they grant you different abilities that could have enhanced or changed in specific ways this troll if ingested? I feel like Butcher's laid down by this moment. <laughs> just absorbing, you're just exhausted. I think he's going to go to sleep pretty soon. <laughs> Sitting up, of, laying down, it don't matter. Kind of bored, like, ugh. <laughs> Henley's on edge. I'm a donkey on edge! <laughs> <laughs> well, so, so is Garath, and that's why she's asking all the questions. Like, I need to know all the things so I don't die. Depends on what the mound gives. The mound is our birthing place. It is the place where our young is grown. And depending on what the mound consumes, depends on what is born. So this mound that gives you different abilities... What it consume? What does it consume? What what feeds it? We feed the mound with our what? dead and other dead things we come across, like dead bodies that you would find somewhere. Whatever we are able to find, yes. Okay, again. So the mound gives you different things. But so this this is there like a blue one or something? Yeah. Okay. So like this blue one here, what what makes him the mound gave him what abilities that's different than yours? Many of our abilities comes with training and understanding. Many may go through their life 
Not knowing what gifts they have. So you don't know how the this creature has changed or what he may or may not have? No. Do you wish to feed part of him to the mound when he has passed or if he has, gets to that point? The mound gives us our knowledge. From what it consumes, it tells us what it has. So, yes. Yes. Does it need all of it, or can we feed, like, part of it to the spider friends back there so they'll leave them alone for a while? The more it is able to consume, the more knowledge we can acquire. And the stronger your young kid. Any of those of you who are still conscious? <laughs> Have you still seen conscious. anyone fight it who didn't get affected by the poison? The, by what the troll spits out? We have not. My leader, Roscoe, mentioned that you had items from the people above. Where are they and can we see them? They are with the Sovereign and the Mound. These items come from the, the things the Mound cannot consume. Therefore is discarded. Therefore you cannot see them until we return to our Sovereign. And how do we know you're not going to feed us to the Mound? We are not hostile creatures. We know many things of elves, halflings, humans, and dwarves, and orcs, and gnomes. Therefore, we do not need to feed you to it, and we only feed the dead. So they may return to Earth as they once came from. It is the circle of things. Do you guys have any sort of liquid or substance that would be flammable for my ranged friends here? They could dip their arrows in it like the arrows and shoot the troll from afar with flaming arrows. We do not know. I apologize. That's okay. If you do not have any further questions, now would be a good time for you to rest. We will keep watch this time of rest and warn you if there is any danger near. Any trolls in the dungeon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they thought we ought to know. Okay. Henley will set alarm. <laughs> okay, perfect. Does the troll have armor? The troll does not, but it does have a natural strength to it to defend itself. What kind of a weapon does it hold? It or attack can, with? It uses its teeth and its claws and hands and sometimes whatever it can hold. Sometimes it has a club. Sometimes it holds another being. Whatever it fancies. Have you tried to trap it? We have not. For we would not know what to do with it. For we do not kill living creatures. Even spiders or beasts or things that are attacking you? We will defend ourselves. 
But we will not attack. So, uh, real watches or just these people? Yeah. I mean, I'll still do our own watch as well. Okay. So I'll take the first round and. I'll take the last two. And I will take the middle. Okay. I'll go with Roscoe. And I'm going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you are asleep. Yeah, and Herla, same thing. She's going to stay on a watch as well. But I think we'll wrap it up there for this time. Thank you guys so much for listening to Tomes of the Chaos Bard. And. If you like the music and sounds that you're listening to, you can give a thanks to D.A. Nichols for writing our songs and music, especially this music you are listening to right now. If you want to support her in her endeavors, go check out her TTRPG, Shields of Power, on RP- drivethroughrpg.com. Also, special thanks to Monument Studios, Realm Walker, freesound.org, and Tabletop Audio for additional sounds and music. I am DM Dave, and to the ride I have. Very scared Fenrir. Roscoe. A very fused Garatha Lila. <laughs> and Henley. And until next time, we unroll the scroll to tell the tale. Bye. <laughs> that root beer's got some caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> literally like... That much caffeine. <laughs> Yummy. A little bit. Here, drink this. Let's see how you do in an hour. <laughs> oh, let's not give her an energy drink. Take a C4. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give me an energy drink. Um.